Hey what's up, it's Chris from Brooker Films and in today's video I'm going to show you how to do the ghosting effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. The ghosting effect is a really cinematic effect and it can really help to add a lot of production value to your videos. But how do you do it? To do this effect, you need to pick one video clip, drop it into your video editor of choice, duplicate this three or four times, and then you just basically need to layer these on top of each other, offsetting the time a little bit. But that's a super, super quick explanation. Let's jump into Adobe Premiere Pro and I'll show you the thorough walkthrough on how to achieve this effect. Now once we're inside our video editor of choice, we just want to import some footage so we can start to complete the effect. So we're going to go down to our import media to start tab and we're just going to import our footage. Once you found your footage, just press select and just import that into your video editor. Now from here, we just want to create a brand new sequence. So we're going to double click and we're just going to press new sequence from clip. Now from here, you just want to scroll through your footage and find the point where you want to complete the ghosting effect on. So in this example, I'm just going to use this jump. Now once you've found the point where you want to complete the effect on, we're just going to cut the start and the end of the video clip. So we're going to go to the start and we're just going to make a cut there by pressing C and cutting, scrolling across to the end and again press C and then we're just going to delete the first and the last section here. And then we're just going to pull this video up to the start of the timeline. Now from here, I'm just going to delete the audio because we don't really need that in this video. So I'm just going to unlink that, select all of those audio layers and press delete. So this is the clip that we're going to do the ghosting effects on. And to do this, all that we need to do is just copy this video layer a few times. So I'm going to press the video layer, press command C. I'm going to lock this layer by pressing the padlock. And then I'm just going to press command V. Now I'm going to drag that back to the start and the same thing again, I'm going to press the padlock and I'm going to press command V and we'll do that one more time for luck. So drag back to the start, press the padlock and command V. Perfect. So now that we've copied all of these video layers in, we can just unlock all of these video layers and we can just nudge all of these layers across by a frame. So the first one can stay where it is, but video layer two can shift across a frame. Video layer three can shift across two frames and video layer four can shift across three. So from here, we want to adjust the opacity of the video layers above the first video layer. So we're going to select video layer two. We're going to go up to effect controls and I'm just going to pull the opacity down to 20%. And then I'm just going to copy that opacity onto all of the layers. So if we scroll across to here, you'll notice that there is a ghosting effect. Now, if we go back to the beginning, you'll notice that because we've dragged these video layers across that they kind of stagger on. And this can be nice if you want to transition the effect in. However, if you wanted to start completely hard, then all you need to do is just pull these video layers up to the start. Don't drag their position, just extend the length of the video clip back up to the start. Now, if we play this back, the ghosting effect is there. Now the ghosting effect isn't really too predominant in this example, so if we wanted to make this more obvious and have these ghosting trails going on for longer behind, then we would do so by pulling back the video layers even further than a frame. So let's go back to the video layer 2 and we'll drag that across 3 frames. We'll drag video layer 3 across 6 frames. And then we'll drag video layer 4 across 9 frames. And we'll just pull these back to the very beginning just to make sure that they don't transition on. And now when we watch that back, the ghosting effect is much more extreme and much more noticeable. And that's it. The ghosting effect is a very simple and very easy effect to do. And as long as you have a multi-track video editor, then you can complete this effect in any video editing software that you have at your disposal. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this one in the future.